The country house was a great place for a monkey. Though sometimes, George ran up against the house rules. I, I, shoot. We don't draw on the walls. House rules, remember? <laughs> George, what did we say about buttering your corn with your feet? <laughs> some house rules make sense, and some seem like a complete waste of feet. Unless he had a tree house. Then he could make his own house rules. <laughs> hmm, so that's what the goggles were for. Wall needed something to hold it up while he nailed it down. Just one wall to go. Huh. But George was out of nails. And the only wood left was the piece he couldn't lift. Luckily, Mrs. Rankins told him he could have any wood he wanted. <laughs> Mr. Quint wasn't home. But George had seen him get nails this way. George figured a treehouse didn't need a wood roof, especially since he was out of wood. Yeah, how do you like your new... Oh, oh. <laughs> All fixed and solid as a rock. Maybe you should have used nails. <laughs> oh, I'm dying to know what you've been up to. Can I look yet? Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is it? Is is it a house? I, I mean, it's a house. You built your own tree house. Wow. I am very impressed. Say, where did you get all the wood and nails George! and... George! <laughs> did you take my chicken's wall? George, <laughs> did you take nails from my dock? Because, look, uh, I'm wet. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm, I'm sure it was a mistake. <laughs> He'll give everything back, George. Before he'd had a chance to make even one house rule, George had to take his treehouse apart. Wait, I said you could have any nails you wanted. I could have been more specific. Then I can make a new wall. That one looks like it belongs there. Now George had a place where he made the rules. Rule number one, you have to draw on the walls. And rule number two, always butter your corn with your feet. Mm. Oh, this, this isn't easy. <laughs> House rules, <laughs> I know. Okay. <laughs>